The next thing we wanna go over, common mistake, do's and don'ts using Morocco is scanning a feature-rich object with marker mode. So for one, you see right away there's no markers on this. It's not symmetrical at all. You need to be using feature mode. But what happens if you do under scanning settings have marker mode clicked? Let's check it out. Immediately it says more markers needed and it's losing tracking. So right away, that should be a, a heads up. Just pause it, delete that one and go back into scan settings and make sure you are selecting feature and then you won't have any problems at all. All right, just capturing the point clouds. Not an issue at all, really nice and clear with using feature mode. For the next thing we wanna go over with Morocco, do's and don'ts. For a, an object like a table, does not have any features at all, very smooth surface, you need marker mode. But you might not realize that, so you try scanning it under scanning settings in feature mode. Notice what happens with that. Make sure you start from the corner here. So it catches it for the beginning part for a little bit, but then it starts scanning off into infinity because it has no marker dots. But we can fix that easily by putting some marker dots on the table. So let's do that. So because the table had no, again, no markers, no feature, we needed to add the marker dots. And that should fix our problem right there. Once we switch the scanner into marker mode, it will no longer spin off as you're scanning. Right, let's try it out. So again, make sure in scanning settings, switch it to marker alignment under the alignment section, switch it over to marker. All right, very nice. Then looking at that, just the point cloud version, we have a nice rectangular table. So we just got done using far mode and demonstrating why you need to use markers on a featureless surface like a table. But what about near mode and a cup like this that's very symmetrical? Where could we go wrong? Well, first of all, if we're on near mode, and under the scanning settings, if I have it set to for alignment for an object that's feature, what's gonna happen? I start scanning. And it starts spiraling out of control right away. Like so. So in order to fix that, what do we need to do? Same concept as this table. The table needed markers because it has no features the symmetrical cup needs to have markers. So let's put some markers on it. I just got done putting all the markers on the cup. So now we're taking this very symmetrical object and giving it these markers so that it has more features. So now don't forget, scan settings, switch it from feature to marker under alignment. Switch it over to marker. And again, we are in near mode. And really you can capture the whole height of the cup from top to bottom. All right, beautiful. There we have it. A nice symmetrical cup. No issues with tracking whatsoever because we have markers on it and it is in marker mode. For the next thing we want to touch on, so we just talked about the symmetrical cup and how we have to have markers on it. What about if 
for a very small symmetrical object like this bolt, putting it on the turntable, obviously this is not large enough to put the marker dots on it themselves. So in that situation, just use the marker dot pad and put it on the turntable and put the bolt on top of it and make sure under scanning settings, it is still on marker mode. And we can see how it'll do. And this is near mode because it's a small object. Okay, beautiful. Point clouds caught the bolt just fine. But now, what if you have an item that's also small, but maybe you still need to add some marker dots to the object itself like this gear. You can actually combine the two, the marker dot pad with putting markers on the object itself to pick up more details. So again, making sure you're in, still in marker mode. All right, and there we have it. Just capturing the point clouds of the gear. A little bit of noise going around it, but capturing the details of the gear just fine. The next thing we'd like to share with you for featureless objects that you can't necessarily put on top of the turntable, maybe because they're longer like this sword or a very narrow marker, you can use the magic pad. And the Morocco comes with both a, mor a magic pad for near and far mode. So I'm gonna pull out now the far mode one and it just folds out and you can put it on the table and it already has the marker dots on top of it. So for something like the sword here, you could just rest it right on the center. And if you feel like you still wanna add some more marker dots, the sword's wide enough that you can add them, but it's not necessarily needed. And then for near mode, I'll just put that on top of this one. Smaller pad, but for something small and narrow, like a marker that is featureless, you would wanna use the smaller pad on the magic pad for that.